Hello everyone and welcome back. I am your host today, Mr. Mobile, and I've got another Among Us um, tutorial for you. Now you may be thinking, one second guys, this is Bob, is it not? And yes, you would be correct. Bob is back, and he's back with a brand new style. Look, look, he's got a different nose and a different scarf and everything. You're looking good for yourself, Bob. I thought, oh. And I'll fix him later. Anyway, guys, we are here to figure out how to do the tasks in Among Us. And yes, you may be thinking, is there a way to do tasks? Well, yes, yes, there is. There's loads of ways to doing tasks. Now, you could be doing one where, say, you have, um, where is it, a teleporter. And you're like, okay, well, I'm going to make a simple, cool wee task here, and I'm going to make it so you walk over to the original spot from the game and I'm gonna make it there so there's a portal and you go through the portal and it takes you to another room where you can do this really cool way of doing the task well that wouldn't be very practical for the game because then the imposter would have to go through all the portals and see if anyone's hiding in them so we're not gonna actually do that instead we're gonna make a not so exciting way but still a way that we can do it if you know what I mean so these are the things you're gonna need there's quite a lot of things cuz I've already done these in my polis map and by the way I will be making a map or map trailer for that very very soon so if you would like to be part of that trailer link in the description to my discord and I will be giving out a day and when I am doing it so go clicky clicky in the description to my discord anyway um, stick around to the very end for this pretty epic thingamabobber. So anyway, what you're gonna need first of all, is you're gonna need one of these, the timed objective. Now this here, I used a lot for my tasks. Uh, we're gonna obviously need a trigger. Uh, we're going to need one of these here. And you might be asking, why do we need one of these? Well, we can actually make like tasks basically appear on the top left of people's screens. So yeah, grab a tracker if you want people to know how much tasks they've got done. Another thing we're going to need is we're going to need a score manager, and that was called, yep. We're going to also need a item granter. We're going to also need a conditional button. And I think that is it. That is all the different ones. And actually, nope, that's not them all done yet. We also need just a regular button. So yes, I'm going to show you just the first off, the most simplest one there is. Now for the first one here, is just a basic, basic one here. So we're going to grab, where are you? Come on over here, task manager. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to set the task manager up. And we are going to make it just for this example, activate when receiving from channel 1. And we're going to want to make this score a value of 1. Alright. So that's going to add 1 every time it activates. Okay. Now I must say that these tasks do take off a, take, take up a lot of channels. I used about half of my channels just for tasks in my map. So yeah. And I haven't even like finished all of them. There's just so many simple ones. Anyway. So once you've got that there set up, you're going to want to set this up, and you're going to want to come to the channels only section, and you're going to want to make it so when complete, transmit on channel 1, and that's really it basically, but if you want to, you can give it names, so you could say like, dump trash, and uh, yeah, that'd be all you do, what you want to do, is you want to make it this turn off countdown visible on HUD because there's this here um, the time is it um, there's like a timer somewhere start interact time this is the one you're going to want to change all right and start interact text you're going to want to change this come on work for me um, dump rubbish all right and you're going to want to put this one to one second 
and that's really all you want to do. Um, I don't think it, there's there's probably a team thing here. You can make it so team one, say team one's crew members, you can only team one members can do it, and then team two would be imposters. That's why I did it on my map, except I did not do it when I made this map. So yeah. In mind the imposter can do the tasks which makes it a bit more difficult for people but anyway so that's what we're going to do and we've got that there set up and then no, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this here we're going to put all the not so different stuff over here so this stuff you will need in this cube so stat to try right? And that there is going to show how many tasks you have completed basically. So then you want to go increment progress when receiving from channel 1. Alright, so that there is basically the first task already completed. So if we come on over to there, we'll just throw this here down at us. Try and slip our way over a wee bit. Sorry about that, Bob. So as you see at the top left there, it does say 0 out of 10. Don't know why it's not bringing up tasks and tasks completed, I'll take a look at that later. But anyway, you can see it says dump rubbish. I'm going to hold this in for 10 seconds. And then it'll go beep beep for 1 second and then it should make it say 1 out of 10. Alright everyone, so I figured out what the problem was. Apparently. There's all the stuff there. Must have been that winning team or something, because I have no idea what I changed. I know I didn't have this here before. So we did obviously change something, but it does work now. So if we go start game here, it will bring up in the top left tasks and tasks completed. As you see, tasks, tasks completed. Go over here, dump rubbish. I'll make this timer quicker for the... Other ones I'll show you, but um, yeah, we'll do this here, and it goes up one. So yeah, there we go, and that's basically one task already done. So that there is the easiest task possible, unless you want to make it easier and just put a button on something and make it say do task and click it once. Like that does the same thing really. But anyway, I'm going to get rid of this here boy now because we don't need him. Um, we're going to need more of him though. But anyway, well now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my version of the collect oil or collect fuel and put it in the thing. So this here is, these are the two items that I used. So we had the item grunter and the, what was it called? The conditional button. So in this item grunter you're going to want to put the item you want the fuel to be. So for me I used presents because couldn't really find anything else fuely. The jetpack would have done but then people would be able to use it and fly up and all that there. So we'll use something else this time. We'll use stink bombs and we'll want to drop in one. Okay. And you know what actually we'll we'll drop in we'll drop in two because I'm going to actually show you how to make a better version of this. So we could do clear items here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just split this and we're going to put two in, please. Thank you. So now you know that, that one there works and it's on the one and all of that. Now we're going to actually change this to complete on channel two. And we're going to make two of these. Now, this, now these get a bit more complicated, you guys. Um, and then we're going to make this here, um, trigger when receiving from channel 3, and when trigger transmit on 1, and we're going to also make it transmit every 2, and can trigger 2 times, okay? That's all you want to do with that. And what we're going to do here, is we're going to put one stinky bomb in here, go on, go on in it. Are you not going to take the stink bomb? Are you for real? Do you do you not you not take stink bombs? You do. All right, so we're gonna just drop these here in, 
All right then, forget about that one. We'll just copy and paste this one when we're done. So anyway, we're going to put this in team one because then that means the imposter can't do this one. Anyway, can be used by owning team, which is one color. You can do whatever you want with that interaction text. We'll put in um, dispatch, dispatch fuel or insert fuel or whatever. And then that's it really, that's all we need to change. And then um, when activated, transmit on channel 3, on the channel 3, I think it was, yeah, channel 3. And we're just going to copy this and put this here. Alright, and then this one here, we're going to make it say pick up trash, pick, or not pick up trash, pick up fuel. Alright. And that there, what does that sell? Channel 2. Now we're going to want to make this here. Um, grant item when receiving from channel 2. Alright. And then that there is going to clear inventory. There's not really anything you have to tr change in here. Triggering player, keep that there. Current item will do all items just in case it only gives us one. And uh, if it does only do one, then we can go over to that. Actually, no, we can't because it just keeps it there. But there is a way you can reset them because I did actually do it um, with the door locks. So, if you want to see how to do sabotages for the imposter, leave a like in the video and even subscribe. And I will do that next time. But anyway, so we've got that done. Simple as that. What we're going to do now is we're going to pop into the game. We can see all of it here. And I didn't shorten this timer down, great. So anyway, it still says dump rubbish, I mustn't have saved it. Where, as you can see, those there conditional buttons. They say you need a stinky. So we're going to kind of dump rubbish, but we're actually picking up the fuel. And then we're going to do dispatch fuel. And dispatch fuel. As you see, that set that off. And we got another one point on tasks complete. Or tasks completed. So yeah, that's how you do that one there. Now I'm going to show you one. Do you know the sorting task? That's in um, like the what's the, the weave room in the bottom right? Can't remember the name of it. But anyway, what I don't mind was I got slurp fish, small fry, flopper, and I got a snowman that was uh, supposed to be the dead bodies in that one. But then I changed it to a flashlight. Anyway. We're just going to have these three for now, and it's pretty much the same as these, but you're just going to have one for each fish. We just do clear item and we'll um, insert, insert fish just for now, alright? And we're going to do three of these, and we're going to say put the lopper, or we'll put, put that one in there, put that one in there. And we'll put that one in there. Did any of those enter? Nope. That's annoying that those sometimes don't work. That one worked. That one worked. And that one worked. And then you're going to want to come over to this. Clear items. And since it's already on, give all items. And you can put these in whatever order you want. And then you pop these in here. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change this to trigger three times. And we'll just make this say pick up samples. We'll definitely make this here shorter. We'll make it three seconds. So that says insert fish. We could do small fish. We could say this one a medium fish. And then we can make this one say jellyfish, because why not? We don't have jellyfish yet, so that one will do. So we'll start the game here, and hope that the fish went in the item counter, because I did not check that. Yeah, we'll come on over here. Uh, pick up samples. Hopefully it gives us the... Yeah, it did. No, uh, you're going to have to do... Now, this one, you're going to have to do slowly, because it doesn't... Like do it right, how they kind of bugs out if you do it too fast. You're gonna to put the fish in, tick. Then you're gonna to to put that in, 
And then there we go. Another task completed. So there's the sword and one done. And now the last one that I'm going to show you is basically the telescope one. You can't really do the line telescope. So what I done was I had created a wee like mini game kind of thing. So say we got the recently added here and we picked up the the telescope here and we'll just pick that up and we'll pop it down here now we're going to want to go and grab ourselves a button and we're going to make that set off channel one and we'll not make it invisible or anything for now but you can do all that when you want to um do it so you're going to want to change that channel one or whatever you want and we'll make it just say basically um spot uh ufos all right spot ufos okay and what you're going to want to do next you want to go to devices um objective device gallery you want to, go to pick this here up and you can choose any of these you want on my map i chose the burger so today we'll, we'll do the tomato today because last time i did do the burger or not last time but on my actual map and what you're going to want to do here is destroy when receiving hope turn on visibility when receiving from channel one turn off when receiving from channel four and when destroyed transmit on channel three and we can actually just make that one channel two all right and actually what you need to do here as well is you need to make the health like literally one shot all right so there we go that's him sorted out and we'll Say so we'll place three of these guys here. Look at this here, Mike. We've got three tomato heads just chilling here. And um, I also want to make it visible during games off. So we'll just get rid of those guys. And we'll place two more of them. Alright, so we've got three tomato heads. Um, we're going to want to clear the items out of this. And two. What I used for a telescope was the storm scout you can use any any weapon you want really so but i'm just going to use the storm scout because that's like the wee beep kind of like a sky fi kind of thing and we're going to want to make this give us it on channel one all right there's a wee notification there that i don't need and then you can get rid of those and this here we are going to need this oops don't know what I did there. We're gonna click that over, didn't even do that. Um so trigger one receiving from channel three and that's on one. Keep these two and three, but put these up or down how many depending on how many heads or whatever's flying around. Alright. And yeah, that's about it. Now if you want to have there like be like a timer on it, you can. It wouldn't really be that hard. You could put Put it on when receiving from channel 1 and trigger when done channel 5 say and then you could put the delay on for like 10 seconds and then when channel 5 is done you're going to want to make the heads disappear so you want to come in here and turn off the visibility when receiving from channel 5 don't know why i put them on 2 actually so do that on five and put this guy on five, right? So now they're on five. So when that starts, that'll start that. And if you don't destroy them all in ten seconds, it'll disappear. And then when you click it again, they will the ones you didn't destroy will reappear. And to make sure that players can't go round with the weapon, you're going to want to basically make it so they can't get past any of these so tame any visible in game no but i'll just leave them on for now um enabled no reset inventory yes so we want to put these ones these are the two important ones here all right all right so just like that now you're going to, want to enable these when receiving from channel five um disable on channel one so channel five Channel 1, Channel 5, Channel 1, Channel 5, Channel 1. 
Now you may be thinking, why did I put four? Well, in my map, so there's like two walls here. And like two walls do actually close behind the player so they can't escape with the weapon. And um, yeah, that basically stops them from getting away. But by putting those other ones behind it, there's like a third one in mind so they can't jump around these ones either. So just make sure there's like no way of getting through like this or anything to get past. But don't tell me that's another one. I don't think it is, no. Anyway, as you see, these don't activate when I stand on them. The tomato heads aren't here. Spot UFOs. Get the sniper right. Go bam. Oh, put it up already. Well, why can I? I want to break you. All right. And yeah, that's about it. Why did it not disappear? All right. So there is something wrong with it here. The triggers obviously haven't been set up correctly. So we'll try and figure out that their little problem so um yeah i don't know why they didn't disappear so this here trigger one receiving from channel one and when triggered channel five ah that's what it is and that goes on infinite as well yeah guys so that there is really all we need to do just change that little bit there three to one we're gonna start it here and we'll come on over here. And now, as you see, it says zero at the top, and when I click this, it does turn to one. That's just because I put this on channel one, and there's still another trigger there, or the thing going off on channel one as well. Oh, well, I missed that. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Anyway, shoot these. And, okay, give me too many points. Let me try one more thing. Alright, so it actually did work. It's just, as I said, the score manager is just set up to the same channel that this is on. So if I keep spamming it, you know, it continues to do it. But yeah, that's really all there is to it, and it still adds the points. So it does work. It's just I didn't put the right things on and as you see these here also turned on and took the item off me when I click this they turn off which they can't take off and I can shoot them all and yeah and then after the 10 seconds it'll turn on and you, like as I said make sure all the areas are covered so you can't jump over like this and then just jump on it so they'll have to walk over one of them and then that's it. All right, everyone. So um, the medic thing I've basically made is the we simple version of it. So here's all the stuff I changed. So you can change the color to whatever you want. Capture it. You can do whatever you want. Periodic scoring. I put periodic scoring to zero, but you can put it to one and just not put it on a channel. But I always put it on zero just because I like having it on a channel. Um, can be captured by team. All. Um, I would put that on um, because say if i go over here i have made team one aka subscribe because why not um red orange so when they go in that it'll go red orange but in team two like button is available um the refuser color or like a magenta kind of color and that'll turn the mag magenta color so you'll be able to see by what color who's the imposter and who's a crewmate so um yeah anyway you going back in here so area score transmit on one neutralize time five seconds control time five seconds doesn't really matter what you put those two you can put that to 10 if you want to and that's basically it i've just put it for at one tile for this tutorial yeah if we go on into here it's blue like the like button and then if we go on in it goes red like the subscribe button don't blame me blame my alarm clock um, so yeah, um, change this to one, and control change transmit on. Oh boy. I'm losing it. I really am. But yeah, we'll go into here, change it to the subscribe button color, or whatever it is. So it does look like a bit of purple down the sides there. And you can make it so it'll change, depending on if you dance or if there's more of you in it or whatever. 
But um, yeah, as you see when you go back in, it's not changing. And also in task complete, I have one now. So there we go, guys. I don't know how I look sniper. Oh yeah, it's because that's set up at one and so is the button. But anyway, thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, join in for tomorrow's um, little thing. Every time that a phone goes off, silly call centers. But yeah, guys, here's Bob, and Bob went to the site. Bye-bye. And so did I.